They talk about freedom so much, but whose freedom are these billionaires really concerned with? Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Look back to Franklin Roosevelt and Lyndon Johnson's idea of what freedom meant versus the Reaganism freedom that we've experienced ever since, basically. You know, as America's right-wing billionaires are hanging out on their giant estates with their live-in servants, giving them instant COVID tests that, you know, hey, money doesn't matter. Um, they're using the word freedom to describe their lifestyle in the right-wing media that they own or that they support. I mean, the, the headline over at yesterday, yesterday over at Newsmask was, uh, Newsmax, excuse me, was no masking Biden's disdain for freedom. And one over at Red State references COVID tyranny. Uh, the bottom line is wealthy right-wingers have been telling this you know, for years to us, and, and a lot of Americans have bought into it that, you know, socialist programs and protective regulations actually diminish Americans' freedom, don't you know? Uh, you know, Freedom Works and their followers in the Tea Party said that Obamacare and Medicare are destroying America's freedom. Reagan told us that Obamacare, excuse me, that Medicare would destroy freedom. And that to choose not to have health care and not to get any support or benefits from the government when you get sick, that's freedom. Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the Senate are refusing to pass a COVID relief bill right now. Um, why? Because uh, giving unemployed people money reduces their freedom and their incentive to look for a job. Remember this? Over and over we were hearing from Republican members of Congress, oh my God, $600 a week, who's going to work? You know, right. Donald Trump's press secretary, Kayleigh McEnany, this morning on Fox News said that she was speaking about Oregon specifically. Today is the first day that we've closed all our restaurants again and, they're, and our governor, Kate Brown, is asking people to work from home if they can. I mean, you know, it's, it's a re reasonable thing. She says, that's not the American way. We don't lose our freedom in this country. We make responsible health decisions as individuals. Right. Republicans have this bizarre notion of what the word freedom means. Um, but Americans who don't have live-in chefs and private pilots to, to, to take them around the country and private jets are, uh, in my opinion, frankly, more inclined to agree with President Franklin Roosevelt, who pointed out in 1933 that necessitous men, people who live in necessity, in other words, people who have needs, necessitous men are not free men. If you're hooked up to a ventilator and you can't breathe, you're not free. If you're sick and you can't afford to pay for your health care, you're not free. If you're hungry and you can't buy food for your family, you're not free. If your landlord is throwing you out in the street because you can't pay your rent, you're not free. If you hang out, if, you, if you're afraid to hang out with your family because you don't want to put your at-risk relatives at risk of dying from the coronavirus because your government is refusing to do comprehensive testing and contact tracing, you're not free. You know, the majority of Americans, according to polls, want a different kind of freedom that, than what is described by Mitch McConnell and his Republican colleagues in both the House and the Senate. Average Americans overwhelmingly. Fox News had the poll up last week. 71% of Americans support Medicare for all. So that nobody again in America will ever go bankrupt because they got sick. Something that happens to a half million Americans a year and does not happen to any other citizen of any other developed country in the world ever. Most Americans want free education through college or trade school and quality primary schools so every young person who didn't grow up on a billionaire's estate can also achieve their full potential without bankrupting their parents or spending decades in essentially debt peonage. We want food and housing to be rights, not privileges as Franklin Roosevelt proposed with his second Bill of Rights in 1944. Right-wing billionaires keep telling us that freedom means the, the, the freedom to die in debt, the freedom to remain edu uneducated and stupid, the freedom to be hungry and homeless, while working crap jobs at minimum wage that just make the billionaires richer. That's freedom in their definition. They say that freedom means that the small number of morbidly rich people have the right to suck up all the assets and resources of society, leaving almost nothing for the working class. Unemployment benefits, the minimum wage in their universe, are the opposite of freedom. 
They argue that the real meaning of freedom is tax cuts for billionaires and more poison and pollution for everyone else. If your air, if your water are contaminated by industry, hey, just suck it up because, you know, freedom. And now they're telling us that freedom means not just the right to kill other Americans with corporate pollution, but that free people have the right without consequence to infect other Americans with a deadly, debilitating disease. And as a result, people who watch billionaire Rupert Murdoch's Fox News, people who, who uh, follow or read billionaire Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook, people who follow right-wing websites funded in part by the billionaire Koch network, they're walking into stores without masks, they're planning holiday get-togethers, and they're spreading COVID all over the country. This billionaire idea of freedom is literally killing us. We have these two competing notions of freedom in the United States. This, is, this should be so clear to everybody. And, and uh, frankly, it's, uh, you know, one of the things that saddens me the most about the failure of democratic messaging, or maybe it's just the fact that you know, there's not much of a democratic message machine. There's this huge right-wing network of, of uh, right-wing radio and television stations and right-wing websites and right-wing, uh, I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, the, these right-wing billionaires have a lot of money. And they're constantly promoting this idea that freedom means freedom from. Freedom from government. That if government doesn't provide Social Security and Medicare, you're more free. Remember Ronald Reagan at the end of his anti-Medicare, uh, that, that 33 LP that he sent out back in, the 19, in 1967 that you know, went to, to 1,000? My dad had a copy of this. And at the very end, Ronald Reagan says, someday we'll look back and tell our children what it was like in America when men were free, right? Before Medicare. Honest to God, if you're young, if you're young enough, you don't know what I'm talking about. Ronald Reagan, when the year that, that Lyndon Johnson was pushing Medicare through, through Congress, uh, did this recording that went out to every doctor in America. The AMA distributed it everywhere. He did it on behalf of the American Medical Association. And, you know, that basically said that Medicare was socialism and socialism was going to destroy America. So, so in the Republican worldview, in the conservative and billionaire worldview, freedom is freedom from. Billionaires don't have to worry about government regulating their industries or, or forcing them to pay a decent wage. Freedom from. But I think most Americans think that freedom to is the kind of freedom that's important. Freedom to get a good job. The freedom to stay healthy in the United States, regardless of whether you have enough money to be able to pay absurd fees to doctors and hospitals. Freedom to express your opinions without you know, being squashed by billionaire-owned right-wing media. The freedom to uh, you know, be safe, essentially. The freedom to have a home, to have shelter. The freedom to have an education. We really need to redefine freedom in the United States. We need to have this conversation. What does freedom mean? Particularly since for the last 40 years, since the so-called Reagan Revolution, the so-called conservatives, these, Edward, these Edmund Burke, uh, Burkean conservatives, uh, Edmund Burke you know, famously said that uh, you know, a, a hairdresser or a tallow maker uh, does no harm to society, but they would do violence to society if they were allowed to vote. Right. I mean, that, that's and we're seeing this played out right in Detroit. Oh, you know, don't certify those uh, those ballots cast by 78 uh, percent black Detroit. Oh, we can't have that everywhere else is just fine. Thank you very much. But what is freedom? What is freedom for you? What does freedom mean anymore? And can we take that word back? I think we can. And I think we should.